یوم ندوق اللہ اناسب بے باب ریکال دی ڈے دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ وین وی شیل کال ایوری پیپل ایوری کمیونٹی ود دیئر امام اینڈ امام ہیئر ہیز بین ٹرانسلیٹڈ ان ٹو فارم آئی دا دیئر لیڈر مے بی دی میسنجر دی میسنجر آف اللہ سینڈ ٹو دیٹ نیشن اور سم ادر لیڈر اور آلسو دی ریکارڈ آف دیئر ڈیڈس دس دس از آلسو اے پاسبل ٹرانسلیشن آف دس ورلڈ دی بک ان وچ دی ڈیڈس آر ریکارڈیڈ یوم ندو کلّہ اناسب میں امام ہم فمن اوت یا کتاب ہو بے یمین ہی سو ہو سو ایور ول بی گیون ہز بک ہز ریکارڈ ہز بیلنس شیٹ ان ہز رائٹ ہینڈ دے ول بی ریڈنگ ہیپیلی دیئر بیلنس شیٹ دیئر شیٹ آف دیئر ڈیڈس ولا یوز لمون فتیلا اینڈ دے ول ناٹ بی رانگ ان دی لیسٹ ومن کانا فی حاض ہی آما بٹ ہو سو ایور ہیڈ ریمین بلائنڈ ان دس ورلڈ بلائنڈ ناٹ آف آئز بلائنڈ آف ہارٹ ہی کوڈنٹ سی دی ریئلٹیز ہی کوڈنٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دی وہی آف اللہ دی ریولیشن از فار کمنگ ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایکچولی ایز اے ہیومن بینگ ہی واز بلائنڈ ہی واز ڈیتھ ہی واز ڈیڈ آئی شوڈ سے سو ہو سو ایور ہیز بین لائک دس ان دس ورلڈ فہو فی الآخرت عام آباد اللہ سبیلا سو ان دی ہیئر آفٹر آلسو ہی ول بی ریسڈ بلائنڈ اینڈ مور فار اوے فرام دی اسٹریٹ پاتھ وہ ان کا دو ناؤ اٹس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ایشو دیٹ از کمنگ ناؤ A very important issue is being discussed now. This has once before come in Surah Yunus. Those people who don't hope to meet us, they demand from you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, اِتِ بِ قُرْآنٍ غَيْرِ حَاذَا اَوْ بَدِّلْهُ Change this Qur'an or present some other Qur'an. This is too rigid, very uncompromising. It doesn't accept anything of ours. Well, we can have a compromise, a deal, but you have to give and take something you, you can, you know, present that we accept and some of our things you have to accept. Not that everything that you say should, should be accepted by us. So now the same thing is coming here. in kaanil And they are bent upon misguiding you and tempting you, instigating you away from that which we have revealed to you so that you should forge something else and then attribute it to us, which is acceptable to them. The revelation that Allah is sending you, they are not acceptable to them. So they want change, somewhat change, forge something and say this has come from Allah, then we shall accept. وَإِذَا لَتَّخَذُوكَ خَلِيلًا And then they will make you a friend. You know, there's no enmity between you personally and them. The enmity is between Quran and them. What Quran is saying is not acceptable to them. So actually, now this is, this is a pressure on you. And because the conditions were very bad, very bad. Eleven years had passed. Muhammad Wasallam did his best to convey the message of Allah. Only about a hundred plus, 125 people accepted Islam. And you know, the decision had been taken at the Darul Nadwa, the parliament of Mecca, that now we shall kill Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is why he went to Taif. Maybe that some big chief of Taif, he accepts Islam and then he supports Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so he can shift his base from Mecca to Taif. But there, what happened to him in two days wouldn't happen to him in 10 years at Mecca. Stoning. And he was injured. He was bleeding. Names were called to him. And then he had to come back empty-handed. Nobody accepted Islam. And then he could enter Mecca only after taking the refuge of a mushrik kafir. He couldn't enter. Because the decision had been taken. He will be killed. Unless some of the chief of Makkah gives him the aman, the peace, the refuge, he couldn't enter. So, Mut'im bin Adi, who died as a mushrik and kafir, he never embraced Islam. But the Prophet said on the day of Badr, 
when there were 70 prisoners of Quraysh in the hands of the Prophet وسلم, he said, had Mutim bin Adi been alive today, and had he said to me and asked me to let them go without any ransom, I would have let them go. He was so much, you know, under that ihsan that Mutim bin Adi did to him, that he gave him the aman and gave him the refuge. These are the conditions. So he was very much hard pressed. And in this condition, people come, okay, Muhammad we can have, we can have a compromise, we can have a deal. You change your stance and your position a bit so that we can agree. So that you forge something and then you attribute it to us. And then all enmity will disappear, evaporate. And then they will make you a friend. But had we not had we not make you stand firm, it is just possible. You might have leaned towards them a bit due to that pressure. I've, I've, that is why I depicted the whole picture, you know. What were the circumstances? How hard pressed was Muhammad at that time? And now this was the offer. So, as a human being, there could be some, you know, an idea. Okay, let us have some compromise. No, but Allah made you strong and firm. And were it not we, that we had made you stand firm, indeed you would have well nigh inclined to them a little. But now the hardest ayah of Quran. Is Allah Zaknaka Zefal Hayati was Zefal Mamat. Had this thing happened, O Muhammad, sallam, we would have given you double punishment in the day, in, in, the, in this life, during the life, during this world, and double punishment after the death. Who is being addressed? Muhammad. Who is the last messenger of Allah? The beloved of Allah. Khalilullah, Habibullah, for the last 11 years, day and night he has been working. He has devoted himself wholly and solely for the cause of Allah. But even to him, had this thing supposedly, had this thing happened, had you succumbed to the pressures of these disbelievers and forged something, and attributed it to us, then we would have given you double the chastisement, double the punishment of the life, this life, hayat, was there for mabad, and double in the death. So, and then you won't not have, you would not find for you anybody who can help you against us. Al abdu abdun wa in taraka, wa rabbu rabbun wa in tanazzal. Allah is Allah, He is Lord. Although he might come down to the first heaven, as there is a hadith that every night he comes down. And Muhammad is Abd, bondsman, servant. Although he might have ascended to the seventh heaven in, you know, you know, in Isra, in Miraj, but the difference between the creator and the created, the Lord and the bondsman that remains. And they are bent upon, these kuffar of Makkah are bent upon to frighten you from this land so that they turn you away out from this land. Now here Allah is not denying because this was going to happen. By the permission of Allah, Muhammad was to migrate to Medina. So he's not saying that it won't happen. But he's saying, is Allah yal basuna khilafa ka illa qalila. In that case, they will also not be able to live at Makkah for a long time. And this is the fact. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa migrated in the year 612. And 614, in the battle of Badr, 70 of the chieftains of Quraysh, they were lying dead in the battlefield of Badr. So, and after six years, the whole Makkah 
that was conquered by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Where were the chieftains now? Where was Abu Jahl? Where was Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayyad? Where was Abu Lahab? Where was Ab- Ab- Walid bin Mughira? Where are they? Gone. Gone with the wind. Either la yalbasuna khilafaka illa qalila. If they compel you to leave Makkah and go away from Makkah, they will also not be able to live there for some long time. Sunnat aman qadar sunna qabla kamir rasulina. This has been our rule. Our law, our practice with all the messengers of Allah which were sent before you. وَلَا تَجِدُ لِسُنَّتِنَا تَحْوِيلًا And you will never find any change in the laws and rules and practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever a messenger was compelled to leave the place, then the chastisement came and the whole nation was destroyed. So this will happen to them if it happens.